So many lines, so so much sitting and waiting and lines and sitting in lines and standing in lines and waiting in lines, driving. This is my Airbnb. It's a nice cute little room. Let me show you around. There's the entrance. It's a little studio. Very sweet. I'm gonna go get something to eat and then I'm gonna go run. I was gonna run with my friend. This is adorable, by the way. I was gonna run with my friend, Sarah Beal, but I just need some time. Uh, she needs to run soon so she can eat. Um, this is a cute bathroom. It's so nice to be here. I need to get my other luggage. Oh, goodness. For those that don't know, I'm in Phoenix. Uh, flew into Phoenix, at least, and in Fountain Hills right now. I'm running in Havelina 100, and that is in a day and a half. So I have two more sleeps before that, and then it's Havelina time. It's time to throw down. I'm all by myself. Usually I'm here with like a friend, uh, like Reese is usually crewing me or Jonathan, but I have nobody here right now. Bree, who I met at um, Black Canyon, will be crewing me and Corinne who I shared a room with at Run Rabbit will be here, but um, probably like day of race. So it's just me. Solo adventure. stuff in my bags so I'm putting I'm preparing my first vest for loop one um, this is for after the race because I really have a bad time after the race so I have wet wipes like some Gatorade um, ginger beer crackers change of clothes towel just in case anything happens I have my ginger beer there that worked really well at run rabbit it helps settle my stomach really well. Um, here I have my other bag, so loop five, four, and three. This is loop two's vest that Brie will just have to like hand to me. And just all my rest, all my other stuff. So I have some Icy Hot to put on my legs, loop three, four, and five. I have my sunscreen, caffeine pills, and electrolyte pills, and lights, and my mini oh crap kit. It's nice to like prepare. It's actually like taking my mind off of a lot of anxieties. Brie will be here tomorrow um, before I get finished loop two. So that'll be nice to see her and let her take over all of the crewing duties. There's this long line of cars. I had to park like a mile up the road. Not a mile, I'm being I'm exaggerating. Part the road. I don't think I'll do a run. Sarah actually already started her run with her crew. So tell me the truth. Do I look dumb with my suitcase walking this road? I feel dumb. This tent is hot as heck, but here is my stuff. All ready to go in the Air Viper Racing tent right now. So. I think we're good to go. Meant to get more video while I was in um, the Havelina area. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of people doing my nails right now. There's so much going on. <laughs> there it is so overwhelming and it is so hot all right don't make fun of me i got my lavender lavender face mask and a hot bath and my my kitty ears how do i look <laughs> i 
thing kind of like burns my face, honestly. Oh my gosh, I just got it in my eyeball. Ow. Jeez. Good morning, it's race day. I have about a little less than an hour before I'm picked up by Natalie and Matt. Me at Black Canyon. Race strategy for the first loop is to just kind of check out the field, I think, and chill out. Uh, not to get caught up with the fastest people because that uh, could be easy to do, but check out, you know, who's done this race before and what kind of pace they're doing. Captain Crunch for breakfast. All right, here's the fit. Got some glitter all over on my leg. Do I look like a cat? I don't even like cats. I don't know why I picked a cat. I think unconsciously I picked a cat because uh, the guy who won last year was a cat. <laughs> He had little cat ears. So I was like, yeah, yeah. Subconsciously, I was like, yeah, that's how you win. I'm pulling early. Not too. Legs feel a little tired, but just trying to keep a solid pace. Stay positive. It's still so early. No reason to worry. Feeling good. I don't know. It's a little gross, but whatever. I literally just throw up. I feel better. <laughs> I'm crying too. This is fine. Uh, the second lap is hell. It's okay. I'm fine. It was all liquid. So I'll ask somebody what to do. So I have no clue now. It's not working. Liquid. Nope. noses before. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, I know, I know, I know, but we have to take it out. Okay. You guys got yet? Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I've had to take them out of myself before. I got one in my hand. Somebody had one. I'm just trying to get the ones out of her fingers. Babe, I'm so sorry. No, it's all right. Oh. I don't know. I, saw, I thought I saw you get up, but. You said the best thing to do is walk through the water. Yeah. Okay. Well, I got it out of her hand. Okay, hold on. Okay. Let's get this one. It sucks. I just ran into a freaking cactus. It sucks. Oh, I tried everything. Nothing settling. I'm throwing up water 
salt heading food no i've tried those too thanks i just don't see myself doing any more loops it's unfortunate because the sun is going down but i just have nothing in me nothing disappointed myself it's a walk of shame Kern is sitting here with me this is the Terra yeah this is the this is the Terra the Terra cacti <laughs> hardcore yeah. she's gonna be on the cover of Ultra Running Magazine everyone's been saying cacti girl well I'm sitting here because I tried I tried again to run and just the water, the food, anything, just in the salt. I hate making excuses, but this is just how these things go. Like, I can't see myself. I was like in the beginning there starting this loop. I was like a mile in, I guess. And I was like, yeah, I could do this. I could do this. And then I started drinking more water again. Or like doing this small sips and just like attempting to like refuel and it just wasn't happening. And what makes me like worried is like thinking like, okay, like I can refuel when I'm sitting and not doing anything. But when I, as soon as I start running, it's like my body's angry at me. I'm talking, <laughs> talking to the camera and she, I'm kind of at the same time. It's okay. But it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Very have been through a lot today. Right? Yeah. <laughs> We're good. Yeah. Thank you. Keep it up. Look at that beautiful moon. We are here at the. Oh, this video is going to get demonetized because of the funky music in the background. Dang it. I forgot about that. Anyways. Now I'm being treated by medical. I'm doing much better. I feel much better. I feel like I have a lot of more fluids in me. This kind of thing just happens. Is that second place? Probably. Oh, that's incredible. We're gonna get there. We're gonna get back. This is my gorgeous. Y'all don't count me out. Sunday and I went to the course and was there for golden hour and the awards so excited for all the people that finished 100 miler but I'd be lying if I said I wished I finished but I still think my decision was good I did not want to be walking for 40 miles feeling the way I did. I felt like I couldn't run. I couldn't eat. I couldn't drink. I got an IV. You guys saw that. And then went and danced. Now that photo, I'll insert a photo. I have become a meme. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Um, that photo of me with the cactus and my hand and leg and pretty much whole left side was seen by a lot of people. My flight is super late. It leaves at 1040. I'm hanging out in a loose parking lot right now. And honestly, it's really nice not having anything to do right now. I'm just like contemplating a lot of things and contemplating my racing mindset, strategies, my goals. DNF's hard. I don't really know how I feel about it. Maybe I'll make a video about how I've been processing my first DNF. 
my first DNF. Oh my gosh. I tried. I tried three times. I gave it an effort three times. And the cactus wasn't even like the thing that made me want to stop though. Like it was frustrating that was in me. I had to go slower. I had to walk two miles with that cactus in me. The chola. It's called chola. Um, I had to walk two miles. And it just... I tried to run a lot and it was just, it was very like irritated. Here's my leg. This is where it was in the worst. It's bruising a little bit. And then I have some on my shoulder here. You can't really tell. I guess you can. It wasn't even the cactus. It was frustrating and a lot of people passed me. A lot of my competitors passed me at that point. I was still in a good position though. If I had just kept up a good pace, but once I left the aid station, um, once I left the aid station where I got the cactus taken out of me, then I tried to run. I was really mad. I was running really well. And then it hit me again. I was like, everything I ate, I drank, felt like stones in my stomach. I felt like throwing up and I did. I threw up again. I threw up pretty much the entire day, except for the first lap. Coming in for the second lap, I threw up. And I threw up for the rest of the time out there. And that was really frustrating. And I couldn't run without feeling uncomfortable. I don't know where I was going with this, but yeah, it felt like crap. It felt like crap. It felt it felt so, so sick. And I've just been like thinking like, what could I have done better? I could have just stopped eating. But then I let it get in my head that like, oh, there's usually I can like do that and be fine with it and just drink I couldn't drink anything though that's the thing like liquid calories weren't working either because I couldn't drink anything I couldn't eat I couldn't do salt nothing was working which is frustrating I gotta figure out what to do heat training for sure it's gonna be a focus there's a lot to unpack as you can see I've just jumped from all these topics